Welcome back to Unarmored Talk Podcast. I'm your host, Mario P. Fields. For all you first-time listeners and viewers, and then for all of our loyal fans, thank you guys so much for supporting us since 2020. Believe it or not. That used to be a show, by the way. Believe it. <laughs> Ripley's Believe It or Not, for some of those who can remember. Remember yeah. that. Yes, sir. But we, we have you know another guest on the show. Pastor Collins and I talked so much since, you know, well, we've been knowing each other, what, since 19, what, 68? I know, right? <laughs> we but, today, born, but we knew each other. Yeah, you, right? You know, but uh, <laughs> no, but you guys know I have some humor here. But, you know, Pastor Willie Collins, he did 24 years in the United States Navy. Go Navy. What's up for the sailors out there, all you Navy folks, including uh, my wife, uh, who is also a Navy veteran and a lot of Fields family are, are Navy veterans. Um, he's also, you know, he's done multiple ventures in the uh, labor market there in, in, in the employment sector. But the one thing I want to highlight before, I, you know, before I let him uh, bless us with a little bit about himself is he's not just a, a you know, pastor, right? He's not a spiritual a care coordinator um, for any entity. He, he specializes in bringing spiritual, mental, and more care to folks in hospice. Now, we're, we're going to do another episode later in the year to talk about that, but that is not today's topic. Everyone, round of applause, Pastor Willie Collins. What's going on, man? <laughs> How you doing, Mario, man? Thanks for having me on, bro. Yeah. Again, by the way, again. Um, and can you tell the listeners and viewers just a little bit about uh, who you are? Yes. Um, I always start out by saying I'm happily married. I've been happily married for 25 years now, and I'm, I'm excited about that. And um, as you know, being married, I'm a husband. I'm a father. I have four beautiful children, two boys, two girls. And as you mentioned, being a pastor, I've been in ministry for over 20 years now and now been a, a, having made that transition from san antonio to florida man i'm excited and now as you mentioned spiritual care coordinator for hospice wow i mean and and, and everyone we served together in iraq by the way and That's so cool. you know the the his love for god his love for christ his love for just human beings doing good for other humans I've seen it since 2000, literally since 2008 and nine. So I want to thank you for your lifelong commitment, Pastor, for just for just being a, a, a human, right, who cares about other humans around the world. Thank you so much, man. I'm honored, man. You know, the Bible says in Matthew 23, 11, the greatest among us is a servant. And I thank you, too. Thank you for what you've done and how you served our country as well. Thank you. Brother. Yeah. Well, now let's get into the topic. You know, you gave yes. us a, a, an amazing quote from the Bible. You're a pastor. Um, but at one point, you, from my basic understanding, you submitted a letter of resignation from one of your employers, and, and they kind of used your religious belief to try to question your, your actions. What's going on? Let's talk about that resignation what happened absolutely absolutely and as you you know i love it because the fact that we understand order us as military men he has a pastor and you know you as a mighty man of god as well i love the fact that we understand how to do things decent and in order so as you mentioned i'm not going to say the name of the company or anything like that but i did i understood it was time it was time even at my age, at 51 years young, I understood that it was a little more intense than I signed up to be, if I could say it like that. So I decided mm -hmm. one day, I talked to my wife and I, and I asked her from, you know, after seeking some wise counsel and praying, um, I asked her, hey, how would you feel if I decided to quit this job? And I love my wife. She always gives the best answers, man. With this, that's my road. And she said, and hey, even, all you know, even, and even if she didn't, you probably would on the show say she does. <laughs> <No. laughs> Absolutely. That's why I'm happily married for 25 years, right? 
But no, I, I, mm-hmm. I asked her, I said, hey, how would you feel if, if I told you I wanted to quit this job? And her response was, hey, I just want to know what's your plan. So after that, I drafted up a nice little letter and I explained it because the people who employed me, they knew I'm a pastor. They knew when they hired me, they even told me multiple times, hey, I know that you're a pastor, so don't stop that. But I see that things just didn't fit out too well for me and them. Right. So I gave them the letter. So, so here it is. Um, you know, you you spoke with the uh, the commanding general. For all of you who are not in uh, uh, in the military, that's kind of the CEO of a huge company or the the admiral. And, and there you go. The admiral, the admiral for the navy, folks. Right, signed off and said, Absolutely. "Yeah." You walk in, you walk into the office with your letter of resignation, and then of course w- you give it to whomever. What happened then? So what actually happened, we, we met at a, um, at a coffee bar outside because mm-hmm. um, when I came up, and I'm so used to, as you mentioned about us serving together, I'm so used to after action reports, right? So I asked them, that, hey, how are things going? How do you feel about how things have progressed at this point? And I didn't turn the res- letter of resignation in right away. I took the time out to find out, get some feedback first, because I didn't have a clue how it was going to go down, but I wasn't expecting the way that it turned out. So we talked, um, they gave me some feedback, and then all of a sudden he says, hold on, is this a resignation? And that's Mario when I pulled out the letter of resignation, and I said, yes. Okay, so you you just, y'all just, you're just having a conversation, you're asking some questions to gain a better understanding of of the unknown for you yes and and then so this belief develops with with your we'll just say your your uh supervisor yes Uh, the owner of the company okay okay yeah the owner (laughs) and he goes hold on now essentially is are you trying to resign is this a letter of resignation how how did you what what happened next man (laughs) so (laughs) it was just it's just a letter of resignation. Yes, that's kind of how it went down, Mario. It was like, <laughs> is this a letter of resignation? And the first mm-hmm. thing, the Bible says, the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, right? So the first thing he says was, after all the money that I've spent on you oh, to send okay. you to training. And I was like, wow. On you. <laughs> right. Not the fact that I spent the money, me and my wife, to transition from Texas to Florida with our own expense, not to mention that I had been, you know, the leader, you hired me to be the leader of your company, to hire people, to fire people, to set things in order. And I did just that. I did what was required. But I think somewhere down the line, Mario, they forgot who they hired. <laughs> wow. And so now he's emotional. I, I, yes. You know, this is, he's reacting. Uh, yes. And now he's reacting uh, 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 to something that's standard. I mean, you could have, you could have just quit. I mean, or just he, quit, right? You okay? So he's reacting to a standard business. When I say standard, what I mean is that's you know a letter of resignation. Absolutely. And he reacts. I've spent money on you. I've given you a Snickers bar. You know, I, <laughs> I gave you a desk. So after he, after you, your, the owner reacted to your letter of resignation, how did, did you react or did you respond? No, I responded. Um, I, I waited. I, I heard him out and I was like, are you not going to at least read the letter? No, there's no need to read the letter. There's no need to read it. I'm like, wait. Oh, he didn't even read it. He didn't even read it. it oh was, my. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was it, it, it was blowing me away because I'm still calm. I'm still mindful. But in my mind, I'm thinking it was a buildup to this point. And throughout the process, I think that a lot of people, because we're military, Mario, I think that they, they tend to, if I can say it like this, man, please. They were cracking the whip. Because there was times throughout the process, I was like, hey, um, they asked me, hey, Willie, how you doing? And one of the times in particular, I was like, hey, I'm tired. And normally I would feel as if anyone, if you are 
working for me helped me build my company and the person that you put in charge lets you know, hey, I'm tired. There ought to be a, some level of compassion. No, the response was like, oh. Like in other words, you're supposed to be tired. Oh, wow. So- Wow, like, yeah, like, like uh, you know, I'm, I'm bleeding out. That's good, that builds character. Like what? So, so, and, and, and so, he, your boss looks at you. He says, I'm not reading this thing. I'm not reading this. How dare you? How dare you do this to me? Absolutely. When, when he was reacting to you, did you, what emotions, Pat, we're human, but what emotions went through your mind when this unexpected reaction occurred? Were you, you know, angry? What, what went through there, man? No, I, I still was holding it together because I wasn't sure if I was going to go to work tomorrow because I was supposed to be going to work the next day and supposed to yeah. open up the place at 6.30 a.m. So now it's more of I'm trying to verify, hey, you, according to my contract, if I decided to quit or resign mm -hmm. prior to the one year of being with the company, it comes that the payback for any training or anything that you sent me to, it comes out of my salary. Right. And I understood that, Mario, because, again, I'm a man of integrity. I'm a pastor at all times. I'm a, I'm a man of God at all times, not just from nine to five, so to speak. And that's right. another story. We'll talk about that on another one of your unarmored mm -hmm. talks. But at the end of the day, I just wanted to make sure because I gave not only just a two week notice, I gave all of almost a month notice. And what my response was, hey, I'm willing to work for the next mm -hmm. few weeks for no no money and you can wow. take the money that i've already worked for the time prior to this because i wanted to do right by them because again at the end of the day i'm not burning any bridges and god is looking at me that's how i'm looking at it mario yeah so 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 now he refuses to look at your letter um you respond what happened next okay so we're in the conversation and i'm trying to again, kind of get him to understand what's going on. So the, I quoted the letter, in the letter, the contract verbatim, as mm -hmm. I just mentioned. So now that I'm seeing that, they're not trying to hear it or anything like that. So I said, okay, I just need to understand that you're done with me. Because they were like, hey, throughout all the midst of that conversation, it's like, oh, no, there's, there's no need for a... Uh, a two week notice or month notice or whatever. We don't care, you've already checked out. You checked out when you wrote the letter. So it's like, we're not gonna talk about all the fact that you've gotten our company up and running. We're not gonna talk about any of that. We're not gonna talk about the fact that you've done a great job. And this is something we know hiring you that you didn't do before, but your leadership has clearly been impeccable. And I'm not patting myself on the back, but at the end of the day, we learn and we learned, Mario, in the military, a good leader sets things up for their absence, prepares their people for their absence. So when I was doing the hiring process, I made sure that I was able to get the right people in place. And none of that was brought up. Only thing was brought up was I was attacked. He was the attack. I thought you said this was a God thing. And that's when things kind of, I was like, like I said, Mario, I kept my cool until then. <laughs> because I didn't get out of character, but the pastor, as you see my voice inflected just a little bit, I was like, hold on. So now, Mario, I, his daughter is the one that was um, to the side, and now I'm talking directly to him because now you're, you're, you're attacking the fact Almost like I didn't believe God. So like you're putting God on trial, like, oh, maybe you lied and just to get this. Because How they didn't understand that. dare you, pastor? How dare you submit a letter of resignation? Yes. I never, ever knew that existed in any labor market. <laughs> and then, and then thought you said you believed in God. Right. I thought this was a God thing. And now I'm like, it's oh, definitely, because again, I oh my I'm like, oh, it's definitely was a God thing. I say, I told your daughter, if you hired me or not, I was coming to Florida. 
See, because the thing about it is, Mario, a lot of times military folks are being taken advantage of because of our loyalty. So I felt that there was something missed along the way. Yeah, so so now you have this, uh, you know, kind of this belief from your owner uh, that, um, uh, you know, that 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 you're going against your spiritual calling. Um, and after you, re you respond in, in, again in a very, very accurate way. Yes. Um, what, what happened after that? After he, after he notices you're not reacting. You, you want to discuss learn they're done you know you're done a letter of yeah. resignation mean, means you're done with that's confusing what happened next so now i'm like okay if you guys are done i said i just want to make sure that this is clear i'm not going to work tomorrow and they were like no we we can't handle that we don't want to take any choices i mean to keep you on board now you've already checked out so that's when i got if I could do this, I had the oh, key. Yeah. I had the key on my ring for the particular business. After they affirmed that I was no longer going to be working with them, I couldn't get the key off fast enough. And I gave it to them. Everything, and I wasn't being rude, wasn't being disrespectful right. because they did, you know, they did do some good things because they could have easily, when the company didn't go according to how things were originally planned. They could have said, hey, Willie, thank you. But then we, we didn't open up as soon as we did and they could have let us go. So I don't want to say it was all bad, but man, that was, I didn't expect that. Right. And that, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm so happy you came on the show. You know, Unarmored Talk, you, you know, a lot of folks, again, as a reminder, um, the, the, the discussion framework is that we're all, emotional right when we're born as humans we're, we're all emotional but the podcast is to bring on guests to help them understand how thinking is a choice and and and, and it improves the outcome of situations while living it can the probability of it improving it, uh, you know situations while living increases and you guys are hearing it i mean let, like you know hypothetically let's say pastor Collins reacted Yes. Who knows? Just so y'all know, it, on the screen it looks like him and I are the same height. We are not. You pass a college like six, we six seven. <laughs> oh man, you know I'm only six two, but yeah, six, two, you, you got a whole foot on me. I'm five, five two, so I look like look like your adopted son. You know what I mean? But <laughs> I love it. I love it. Powerful. But looking back, yes. For, for people right now in all industries yes. that may be considering resigning from their current job, what piece of advice can you give them? The first thing I would say is trust, whether if you're a believer or not, trust that gut, trust that gut feeling. Because I started out and I, and I mentioned by the fact that I asked my wife, I said, how would you feel if I considered quitting this job? And as I share with you, her response was, all I would want to know is what's the plan. So in other words, that's all she said. But in other words, because we've been married so long, I know what she was saying. Hey, we've been married for 25 years at that time. And we, um, you've never put us in a position to fail. And God has never let us down. So here's the, here's the caveat, though, Mario. Less than 30 minutes. Less than 30 minutes. Unsolicited, by the way. I received a text message from a former... Um, co-worker and they let me know they was like hey Willie I'm in the area um, I'm currently in charge of a hospice and we're in need of a chaplain so I would just say make sure you trust understand who you are and I won't say it was all for not it was a great experience I met some great people along the way and I learned a lot so at the end of the day just consider, count up the cost before you, you resign. Make sure you have, as I told them, I had an A, B, C, D, and E plan. <laughs> <laughs> you guys heard it from Pastor Collins again. Thank you so much. Use that network. It could be your wife. It could be a, a you know, mother, a father, a neighbor. But use that network. Have a plan. Do your research. Okay? And it's okay to resign. It's okay. <laughs> 
last time I did some research, I think it's okay to resign. But yeah. if you do, like Pastor Collins mentioned, if you have a faith, whatever your faith is for this podcast, it's in Christ. It's in Jesus. It's a Christian faith. Yes. You know, in your faith as well, use those combination of things. And definitely, if the unexpected happens when you submit that letter, even if they don't read it, don't. Yeah, even if they don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, I but love it, you, man. Uh, hey, man, Mario, I love you too. And and if I could say anything else before you we let us go, yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you for always being there for me. You know, I've said it before. We, you know, we have those those conversations. At one time, we was talking every Monday, and it was awesome. But as I mentioned before, I'm not going to take it off of my reminder. So, rather if I call on those Mondays or not, I appreciate you just just being my brother. You know, you are my covenant brother, and I appreciate that. And I love you and your family dearly. Thank you. Hey, same here. Love you, your wonderful family, and what you're doing for those families and those patients in hospice care. But everyone, you guys know I got a role. Got to let Pastor continue to inspire folks around the world. But until next time you hear me or see me, God bless you. God bless your family members. And God bless your friends. We'll see you later, Pastor. Oh, 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 o